You're gonna need a bigger boat. That is definitely an understatement. Hello everybody and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 news video because we've got some huge news and that's an understatement because Frontier just had a live stream for updates on their games including Planet Zoo and as important with this channel, Jurassic World Evolution 2. And while unfortunately there wasn't too much in terms of Jurassic World Evolution 2, we did know that some big news was going to happen during this stream. And I'm gonna just um, waste no time and I'm gonna play the clip for you guys and then we'll get back to talking about it. Hey guys, it's Harry from the Jurassic World Evolution 2 team. I wanted to come on today and share some really exciting news about the project. The team's been working really hard and I'm very pleased to announce that we'll be bringing out a brand new species pack in the next few weeks, which will bring four new species to your parks. I'm sure you're dying to know more about the pack, but you have to wait just a little bit longer for that. We'll have some news to share closer to the launch. Until then, keep your eyes peeled on our social channels. What I can give you today though is a little, well, rather big teaser on one of the upcoming species which can soon be in your parks. I don't want to give too much away, but I'm sure the eagle-eyed among you know exactly what's on the way, and I can assure you we're just as excited as you are. That's all for now, but like I said, you'll want to follow us on our social media channels for news on when the next species pack will be out. That is right, guys. We are getting the Megalodon, or at least it's 99% confirmed. It could actually be another shark, which, could you imagine that? Just them being like, okay, we'll give you a prehistoric shark, but it's not the Megalodon, guys. We'll give you one that's a little different. God, that would just be so funny, but also so evil. I, I It's gonna be the Megalodon. I... I I doubt that they're going to do another one, but this also confirms, yes, we're getting another DLC. We did have news that there was possibly going to be an expansion, but it looks like the next um, update for the game is going to be just a regular DLC, a four pack, as it is stated in this video, which is great news as well. And because of this being a four pack, it kind of does lend the idea that this is not the last DLC once again, as we always um, talk about with these videos, we're always like, is this the last DLC? How can they get the remaining species in? And, well, it looks like we're getting another Camp Cretaceous species specifically for this next update, as it is featuring a Megalodon, which leaves only two options for what DLC would make sense with this guy. Well, technically three if you want to really stretch it out, but really it's two but i'll go over each of them the first idea is possibly a cenozoic pack which i think this one is the one that most if not everyone is going to agree on being the case and it makes sense because that would explain why megalodon is there and also it would actually help with once again getting one of the missing canon creatures into the game that being of course in this case the Smilodon, the second last species on the list. Of course, we are missing Microceratus still, unfortunately, but in this terms, I don't think we could get that. Unless this is going to be called the final DLC for fun, and then it's like, okay, Microceratus, Smilodon, and you know what? People want a giant fish, let's give them a giant fish, and then the fourth one, I don't know, give them a bat. I don't know. I think that that one is the most likely, and it does have me um very intrigued i do think it's going to be a little bit surprising considering that much like how the secret species pack was very mixed for most people as a lot of people were happy about it a lot of others were not happy about it this dlc option also will have the same situation as there's a huge portion of the fan base that will definitely be over the moon of getting a cenozoic pack but there's another side that's going to definitely feel that this is going too far away from the prehistoric time that we are used to. Which is understandable in both regards. I myself am definitely on the side of, well, let's see how far we can explore. And I definitely am happy. Now, in terms of what other options it could be, the... Um, second option is definitely a marine pack number two, but that just makes no sense at all because, well, why would they do 
it in a, another pack. Like, they already did one, why would they do another? Unless it's going to be like a, oops, sorry, we uh, no, we did a lot less for the update for that one. Maybe we'll fix it in another. But other than that, it just doesn't really make sense for them to do another one. So I don't think that's going to happen. I think we can all agree the Cenozoic pack is going to be the one. And what other species it could include, well, of course, we'll be getting the Megalodon or... We're getting a shark, at least. Let's just say it's a shark. We're getting Bruce's updated version. He's joining the Jurassic fan base as well, other than his quick cameo that he had in Jurassic Park. Now we're getting a shark, and very likely if it's a Cenozoic pack, we will definitely be getting a Smilodon. Otherwise, then what's the point of a Cenozoic pack? Because basically the last few DLCs, they're all about getting the missing species. And I think it would make sense. In terms of the other two, I think they would probably go for one that's really popular. That's being the Woolly Mammoth, of course, or Woolly Rhino. I think Mammoth would be most likely because it was actually considered to be put in for Camp Cretaceous, if I recall. Because there was that whole thing about they cut it out due to costs and such, which was an interesting thing to learn about. But I think that the final one would probably be one that's like... Known, but not as well known. And I think that a great one for that would be probably the Terror Bird or something. I don't know. I, I don't want to go into it too much for this video. It's going to be just a quick one. But I want to know, guys, are you guys excited about this? We will be getting news more about this in the upcoming weeks. If estimations are right, we should be getting the DLC or at least the trailer in the next... Well, the trailer probably in the next two to three weeks and the DLC probably at the beginning of June if they're going based on their previous um, space to out. They always go around three months. I think June would be the most likely time we see it. We'll probably get the trailer very soon though but it's been a crazy day guys. We got our first look at the Hammond Collection Giganotosaurus and a better look at the Therizinosaurus as well for Hammond Collection. Jurassic fans are eating up just as this month's about to end, and honestly guys, I want to hear what your thoughts are. Are you excited for this DLC, or is this one you're going to avoid getting? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, and thank you so much for watching guys, maybe leaving a like, subscribing, be safe out there, and remember that you are all amazing, never forget that, and until the next video guys, enjoy yourself.